Hey what's up guys this is Manshu Tech Portal and in this video we are going to talk about some quick updates of the Samsung Galaxy G7 existing and new rooms and custom kernels of the October 2017. So without any further ado let's get started. Subscribe to Tech Portal for more videos like this and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. So the first in our list we have this Afterburner Kernel Nougat update. So in this update you will get some new battery tweaks. Now you will easily able to run your device for a day. And also the GPU is now overclocked from 668 MHz to 800 MHz. And now you will be easily able to play games, high-end games in which we are getting lag. And uh, you will really get a good battery and a performance. And I checked the Intuitu score. We are almost getting around 46,000 score in various Nougat latest rooms. Many of you guys was asking that whether we can use the Lineage OS 14.1 that is the Android 7.1.2 Nougat in our Samsung Galaxy G7. So I don't recommend you to use this because we are really getting a poor performance still we have all the bugs fixed in this uh, except the VOLD but still we are not getting that much performance while opening and closing of the applications the app opening speed is not good the performance we are still getting lags while opening the settings it almost takes sometimes around 10 to 15 seconds to open the settings and camera application the battery backup and the boot time is okay but talking about the performance which is the main thing is not that much perfect in the lineage OS so you still cannot use the lineage OS as your daily driver and we are not getting that much score in n 2 2 so don't use it as your daily driver if you want to get an experience you can use lineage OS but try to use the latest versions of touchface of our Samsung Galaxy G7 so guys before going further if you haven't subscribed to my channel go and hit the subscribe button and press this bell icon to get the latest notification of my videos related to G7 or any other topic of Android so guys the next we have the revolution OS version 5 that is the final build of this ROM and uh, in this we are having tons of new customizations uh, related to the boot animation system animation the boot logo is now changed you can select various modes all the links are given in the description and uh, also we have some new tweaks which you will find easily able to find in the settings in the advanced features menu the z modes and uh, you don't need to tweak your device boost or anything everything is just included in the settings option itself as you can see in the video and also guys the talking about the performance i'm almost getting around 44000 score with the latest afterburner kernel overclocked to 1.7 gigahertz and gpu is also clocked to 880 megahertz which is freaking amazing and also the battery backup is just amazing the boot time everything is just flawless you can use VOLT and various new features added by the xg developer in it by some DXG developers for a Samsung Galaxy G7 2015. It is fully devoted. We are really getting a good performance and a battery backup. I am still using it and will show you the review in some days about that ROM. And uh, you can go and check it out. I have provided the links in the description. So that's all with this. So these are some quick updates of the custom ROMs and kernels for a Samsung Galaxy G7 which you can use in your device. I hope you are really enjoying this video and if you did, a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. As always, I see you in the next video. Thank you. Peace out.